Let's take a look at an example that may help give you a better picture of why knock tuning is so important to a bow hunter. What's up everybody? We hope you're having a great day. Here where we are in South Carolina, it is over 100 degrees in the shade. What better day to talk about bow hunting and specifically knock tuning your arrow with the N1 Outdoors in tune arrow wraps and tracers. Before we get started, what we want to talk about is what the Intune wraps and tracers are not. Intune wraps and tracers are not a substitute for having a well-tuned bow. Not a substitute. You need to be sure that your bow is in center shot. You need to be sure that your bow is well-tuned. If you're not sure how to do that, there are lots of videos on YouTube that'll help you with that. If you still don't want to do that or you don't trust yourself to do that, check with your local bow shop so that they can get your bow tuned as well as possible before you start this process because this is not a substitute for a well-tuned bow. What the arrow wraps and tracers are, are they are a great tool in your toolkit, your bow hunting toolkit, so that you can uh, get your arrows tuned so that they fly as straight as possible so that in the event where you have an impact with an animal, that your arrow can be flying as straight as possible so that you can maximize the impact on that animal. And so hopefully you can have a clean ethical kill. So let's take a look at an example that may help give you a better picture of why knock tuning is so important to a bow hunter. So let's imagine that we are taking our shot on our animal. Let's say we're in a deer stand, we have a downward trajectory and this arrow has been shot out of a bow uh, the arrow does not have a, a very good arrow flight. Let's say it has a corkscrew action or it's just not flying straight. And when that arrow comes in contact with the target, it impacts the target with this type of motion. Now, I think you can, you can see in the visual how the arrow impacting that animal with that type of movement on the arrow would rob from its impact on the target animal. Now let's imagine that the arrow is flying straight. Let's say it's being shot out of a well-tuned bow. The arrow has been tuned. We've got the straightest arrow flight uh, possible for our setup. That arrow comes into contact with the animal. I think you can agree that when this arrow that is tuned comes into contact with that animal, the penetration potential is much greater on that animal than it would be with this. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of a visual. We've got our angry arrow version of our in tune wrap right here. This arrow hopefully will be flying angry, which means it will be flying straight to maximize penetration potential. So let's take a look at what makes the in tune arrow wraps and tracers unique versus just a standard arrow wrap. Obviously it is an arrow wrap, so you can fletch over the top of these, uh, which gives you the ability to more easily remove your fletchings without having to scrape with a razor blade and maybe dig into your carbon shaft and damage it. So it has obviously just the basic advantages of an arrow wrap, but what separates it from the other wraps is it has eight points of reference. And these eight points of reference will aid you in the knock tuning process. So what we would do is we would, in the arrow building process, we would take our bare shaft and we would begin to shoot it through paper. And as we do that, we would move the knock to each reference point. You've got eight reference points. We would move the knock to each reference point and then we would review and we would see what number on the knock gave us a bullet hole or as close to a bullet hole as possible. That is most likely where the stiffer or stiffest part of the spine of that arrow is. It's not always exactly there, but it does uh, give us a way to usually find where the stiff part of the spine is. But the bottom line is we want that arrow to fly as true as possible. So the eight reference points give you the ability to check eight different parts of that arrow shaft and find which part of the shaft will result in a bullet hole through paper. You can knock tune with a fletched arrow. A lot of people prefer to do it that way. We just prefer to knock tune first with a bare shaft so that when we put our fletchings on, our fletchings, which will correct arrow flight and help that arrow to stabilize and fly straight, uh, it will have less to correct when we have a bare shaft that is already flying straight. 
once we fletch it. Now, if you want to bare shaft it and then fletch it and then check it again, totally fine. The arrow wraps, most of them are also reflective. So if you're in low light conditions, you're using a flashlight, uh, they will reflect the light and help you find your arrow more easily. So that's another advantage. They also have identification numbers on here so that you can just, just a simple way to keep track of which arrow you're working on. So this is arrow one right here of my Sonic Send arrow that I have built. Just a, an easy way, just a little tool to help you keep track of what you're doing. We also have the Intune knock tuning tracers. Now, tracers, who would, who would be a good candidate for a tracer? Well, someone who maybe does not like a lot of tail weight on their arrow. Some people like to have as little tail weight as possible. We totally get that. And so uh, you have the tracers that actually weigh under two grains. So you add one of our tracers to your arrow, you will be adding less than two grains. And in some cases, only a grain or a grain and a half to your arrow, depending on the diameter of your shaft. And so we have these uh, in standard sizes uh, that are one inch. We also have them in micro sizes and other custom sizes. So just because you don't have the standard size, we have this fitted to any type arrow shaft so that you get an even eight points of contact, all separately spaced so that it makes the knock tuning process so much easier and a lot more precise than just turning the knock and hoping you hit a good spot. Let's say you're doing quarter turns and you're just kind of keeping track in your head. You know, I'm going to turn it this way. Oh, wait, but did I turn it clockwise or counterclockwise? And how far did I really go? The eight points of contact on the in tune wraps and tracers, it just makes the process easier. And that arrow is now an arrow that's going to fly true. And when it impacts your target animal, you will have the best chance of a clean ethical kill because you have maximized, hopefully you've maximized all other things have gone correctly. You have maximized your penetration on that animal. So check out the Intune arrow wraps and tracers. We have them reflective. We also have fluorescent and we also have fluorescent white and black in the tracers. We hope you have a great week. We hope you have a great season and remember, where the moments happen. We'll meet you there. We'll see you next time.